Right, we're on our way. Yep. We're leaving Sesram. Sesram. Yeah. And we're on our way to Rostock. On the street. And Rostock came highly recommended by Jurgen so, and Mary Ann. So we thought we'd stop there for a night and see what it's like. It's about, a, what did you say, 100 kilometers from here? Um, yeah, it's not far. It's about 150 kilometers, I think. Oh, man, it's 150 now. You said 100 yesterday. Okay, today. well, let me, let me have a You look. get the right... I'll give you the exact actual... Exact yeah. The actual is 135. Yeah, we meet off. Turn way. right onto street. And then it's 2.22 to Swatford. The next day. Yeah, the next day. Uh, we're going to stop at Solitaire's for some apple pie. Ooh. We've never stopped there before. No, but it's famous for its should apple we, strudel. Should we try it today? Yes, why not? Yeah. As soon as it's the last time we we'll come to this Namibia. Road. Yeah. yeah. Case to get to Solitaire, we've just turned on to the what's it, the C19, I think. Yeah. Looking forward to that apple strudel, as. Yes. I'm looking forward to the latte. <laughs> we haven't made one latte since we've been. Uh, just because of shortage of milk. Yeah, I don't want to waste the milk because we don't know where we're going to get milk again. Just as we came out of uh, Sesrum, yeah, uh, there's a lot more accommodation on the right hand side. There's camping and chalets. What was the name of the um, desert something? I desert think. Quiver Camp. Desert Quiver Camp. It looked quite nice. So the accommodation available at for Sosa's Flay, there is just so much available. Right, I'm just gonna go and have a look. happening Mrs. Douglas? Hmm? What's happening? <laughs> I think what? This is an old car. Yeah.
cutting our slice of apple pie there. We hope it tastes as good. There you are. And this is a apple pie and two lattes. Hopefully it's good. Tastes good. Mm. <laughs> Scrumptious. Mm. Pastry is perfect. They also have a campsite here at Solitaire. I suppose it's just a, a stop on the way somewhere. See the grader working and you have to keep an eye out for the guy that's taking walking behind and he's quite far behind uh, picking up stones and throwing them off the road the big the big stones here he is yeah yeah we're just going to go past the guy now Obviously, does quite a bit of walking during the day. We've just turned into Rostock off the, the main road. I'm not quite sure how far this is along the, this track.
Meerkat somewhere, yeah. What? I've got them enclosed in there. Got the lodge. Just trying to find the two meerkats. moment I think they've got one lot leaving and one lot has just arrived so if you're looking for a unique place to stay this is great really really nice well worth the stop between Volfus and Solitaire and there's campsites here as well I think there's Four, I think she said. Pool is beautiful and uh, clean. Really sparkling, eh? We're on our way to the campsite, Rostock. This is our campsite at Rostock. Just going to walk up to the top. Uh, I think it's the kitchen area. Going to have a nice cold beer. This is what the, the doctors ordered. Sitting in minus one. We need to watch the jackals at night here. Yeah. They pinch your pinch your shoes if you leave them outside. So we'd have to just be cautious, eh? Wow. It's a well earned beer. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Just, just gonna walk up the rocks there. And this is the kitchen. Charging. I think they must have a battery 
system here with solar panels somewhere. I don't think they've actually got electricity. What is that? Is this? Nothing. I've got a bit of signal here, so oh my I'm gosh. just sending some photos. Oh, she said if you walk to the yeah. top, you get One, two, three, four, five. Rose was busy trying to send some photos to friends and family. And I think Facebook. What do you enjoy sundowners up at the deck on Rostock or up on the deck at Rostock? <laughs> I have no idea. Up on the deck at up, Rostock. That's correct. That sounds better. Up on the deck. These are the other campsites. Four campsites in all. Rose coming up with our food. Our supper. That's what I was just thinking. Don't fall. Empty it all on the pathway. This is the ablution block for ladies. The side here. There's nobody here, so I can go into the ladies. I have. Two toilets. And they have two showers. And that's the view. Wash basins here. It's all very clean. Nicely prepared, eh? Hot and cold. If the water is not hot enough when you come here, there's a donkey boiler at the back, which you put wood into and light it and then it will make hot water for you. I'll show you that now. And this is something that they call a donkey boiler for people that don't know how it works. You stoke the fire here. There's wood and everything in here. There's the wood, you light it and that heats up the water that's in this tank here. Which then gives you hot water. And it doesn't take long to get hot water. We haven't used it because we showered earlier and the water was warm enough for us. This is our campsite, we're number 51, as I said there's no shade here, but we're over, only overnighting here, so we've just got to deal with the sun. And it's a rustic camp, so and like I said, if you like rustic camping, jackals will come visit you at night probably. Just don't feed them.
Good morning. Okay, we're on our way to Swakopmund in Walvis Bay today. Um, it's another beautiful day in Namibia. Got up for the sunrise again this morning. Um, very peaceful sleep, no noise, no jackals. Um, lots of birds this morning, LBJs. Um, yeah, another beautiful day. driving up from the campsite. Right, we're back on the main road again. We've got 220 kilometers to go to, uh, I think it's Volfus, and then from Volfus on to Swakopmund is about 12 kilometers. Galp Pass. down and then come out of it again, probably on the other side. Eh? section of town yeah. for a kilometer or two. absolutely covered in crickets, those big crickets, uh, stacks and stacks of them being squashed and some trying to still escape the vehicles. But they're all out from the rain, between the crickets, the millies, the grass locusts, yeah, Locus. everything is from the rain. But then the crickets are friendly little chaps, aren't they? Yeah, they like to climb all over you. <laughs>
landscape has changed quite a bit now. The grass is not nearly as long out here. We did up to 100. 112 k's from Walpus Bay. section of this road, we're 32 k's from Volfus, probably the last 40 k's. It almost looks like there's moisture in the, in the road. If anybody knows what it is, if you can maybe put it down in the comments for us, it's nice to know why the road is like this and it's, it's also very smooth. is a tall road if not better because there are no potholes just coming into Valfus Bay seem to be doing a lot of work on the road here yeah. tall road to the airport to the airport by the look of it down yeah. 